limited time. I want to go across to Tamal. Tamal, you heard that. There are those who say that if you believe in merit, if you believe that harder the work, you know, harder the reward, and, uh, you know, that kind of an argument, uh, then certainly, of course, there should be scope for people to work hard so that they can prove their merit and prove their talent. There is also another concern that's coming out. I'm reading out CEIC data, which says that India's labor productivity experienced a year-on-year -year decline of 2.53% in December 2022. So it's perhaps a valid concern that Mr. Murthy's expressed. Mr. Bandwadhar. Yeah, Madhav, uh, I think the two parts of what Mr. Murthy said, one is uh, hard work, and he quantified this hard work by a uh, certain number of hours. And second is linking it to the, uh, the I mean, development of the country. So I, uh, I don't have any problem with either of the two. Uh, hard work we need to put in, and we need to uh, take India to among, I mean, first the five trillion economy and then becoming the third most uh, important, the biggest economy, uh, which IMF already said will overtake Japan in 2030 on good. But the linkage of hard work and productivity, that's a fallacy. It's, it's, not, uh, mm. it's, it's not correct. I think it's much more depending on the skill and environment. That's what all happened. I think we are, um, it's, it's a bit of an anachronistic um, statement, I would say. During our time, our generation, we all knew that uh, no work and uh, all play makes Zag a dull boy. Mm. But we couldn't afford because our social economic structure was not there. But today's generations and all, they are impatient. They, they, are, they, are, they are very different. Yeah, the, track, the, uh, the sector which I track, you look at the private banks. Private banks, you talk to CDO, uh, all the CEOs, hand on heart. Uh, in private, they will say the biggest challenge at this point of time is keeping the talent because mm. they are leaving. You can't give them more work to keep them. Mm. They need to be challenged. They need to be, you know, they need to be every moment challenged. Neither money nor long work can keep them. And right. you look at the public sector banks, which is 60% of Indian banking system. You will see them with either at least 12 hours a day uh, they are they are in the branches or they are in the offices because they need to keep the uh, keep the bosses happy because that's the, that is a tradition mm. you can't go you can't go alone but are they are they too much of productive uh, this thing no offense intended they are not it is the system that carries on which okay. is I think it becomes less productive okay. and one thing I just want to under, uh, make it point is this mm. if we think that productivity will come from hard work again I am repeating we are barking at the Wrong tree. I'm just uh, giving the number of international lo uh, labor organization, which talks about the unemployment rate among youth, the youth which Mr. Naran Murthy is focusing on. Mm -hmm. And what is the youth identified uh, by uh, the youth unemployment identified by in the international labor, labor organization is this, who are in the work in a age between 15 and 24 mm -hmm. without a job, but actively seeking a job. Hmm. Now, what happened? Calendar year 2022, our unemployment rate was 23.22%. Hmm. Uh, higher than Pakistan, which is half, 11.3%. Bangladesh, again, okay. almost half, 12.9%. Bhutan, 14%. This okay. from so okay. we are not uh, we are not addressing the major issues the actual issue where are the employments mm. and who who are we asking to work seven hours which is uh, you yourself said ten hours seven days fourteen hours five days or eleven point five hours six days it's some crazy I mean uh, this is not. <laughs> This is Perhaps not healthy is a question. In fact, you know, we are completely out of time. I'd like to, in fact, to just quickly before I end this debate, read out what a study of a New Zealand-based non-profit advocacy group has said. And this is interesting food for thought. They've, in fact, uh, experimented with a four-day week. Uh, the organization is called 4-Day Week Global. And they have revealed in their study that uh, organizations involved in a four-day work week registered gains in revenue and employer productivity as well as drops in absenteeism and turnover. That's perhaps food for thought. Interesting uh, piece of information there as well. I'd like to thank all our guests for joining us. Pranav Pai, Piruz Kambata, Sunil Lalag, Richa Singh, Rituparna Chakrabarti, and Tamal Bandhapadhyay. Thanks so much for joining us on this very interesting debate that has the internet divided.